Fly with me to Tokyo. Period per guys, look how much stuff we have. Also, predicament, we've done an Uber reserve um to pick us up to take us to the airport. We were literally 10 minutes, they give us like a 10 minute grace period. After the 10 minutes, he literally cancelled it and charged me 40 pounds. But luckily, it looks like there's another Uber on the way. It's five minutes away and we're not gonna we're not gonna miss this one. But guys, it's been a whole kerfuffle, but hopefully we'll get to the airport. I think we're gonna get there at four and our flight is at six, so we're still in good time. Uber, Uber everywhere. Right, he better help us with our luggage. We at the airport, period. He throw terminal four. Guys, he probably need to take a page out of Stanford's book and do the um, self bag drop because we've had to queue up for so long. We might drop our bags. It might just be the airline though. Well, maybe Air France needs to take a page out of freaking EasyJet's book. Is it EasyJet or Jet 2? I don't know. But we're Ooh. almost at the front and it's literally 4.46, 48 and our flight is at 6.15 and we haven't got to security yet so then so guys we've made it through security and we're on our way to the gate so basically we're going to tokyo but we decided to do a stopover we're not doing a direct flight because british airways is expensive but we didn't want to do the complete budget option which was to do the um like chinese airlines which is like air china china eastern because i was scared about the airplane food because a lot of people had bad reviews and also some of them are like eight hour stopovers in like china 10 hour stopover and i just felt like the whole journey was a bit long so i thought you know let's do a middle ground so we've done Air France, so it's still a stopover, but only in Paris, and it's still a bit expensive. I think our tickets were like one thousand pounds, so a bit like a few hundred pounds cheaper than British Airways, but then not as cheap as the um, budget airlines. But yeah, I'm really tired, guys. Like, honestly, I literally just came back from Party Next Door's concert a few hours ago. I literally the concert finished at eleven. I think I left at eleven thirty. I drove home, got home at twelve thirty. The cab to pick us up to the airport came at two forty-five. So I literally had two hours to get myself sorted. Like, oh, and I was gonna try and stay awake so that I could be in sync with the Tokyo time, but there's no way that I'm staying awake. I'm 100% going to sleep from here until Paris. I've got that, you can just do your little... But I, I struggle so much to sleep on the airplane. That's why we wanted to... Oh, we didn't even ask them about upgrading. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to lay flat in business class, but business class is bloody... It's a lot of money, mate. I'd rather use it towards the holiday kind of thing, but I find it so hard to sleep on the plane. And this flight is 14 hours. 14. Can you imagine? We got the pink nails, the pink passport, and the pink airport fit, period. Okay, so we've completed one leg of our flight, which is the only like the short one. And I'm not gonna lie, after doing that, I'm a bit concerned about the Tokyo one because that. Well, I swear, I literally slept the whole time. I didn't, you know, I did not even wait for the takeoff or the landing. I know. I literally didn't see the plane take off. I didn't hear it land. I was knocked the hell out. Because remember, the guys, I told you, I was so tired. But now, 14 hours straight, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I remember like some parts during the flight, I started feeling uncomfortable, and that was only one hour. So. I don't know how I'm gonna do 14. Right now, I'm gonna try and find somewhere to eat because we're in France. I want French hot chocolate, you know? Bonjour, bonjour. How are you feeling about the flight so far? Are you scared? Yeah, no. For 14 well, hours? You're not scared? I feel like I've been on a 10 hour flight to St. Lucia. I've been on a nine hour flight to Jamaica, but I don't remember it. I feel 
to get in the hat for next four hours. We gotta get a train to the um, terminal, I think. So I've just checked on the Air France app and it says to upgrade to business is gonna be £874, which is quite cheap to be fair, but I don't know if it's worth it. I could. I really could. Oh, but I don't know. It is my birthday, but like I could actually use that money for something else. What do you think, Mum? Business? Look, even if you don't wanna if you don't wanna come with me, look, they've even got a window seat business. Oh no, I might do that even, I can't lie. Yeah. I might just buy that, I might just sit leave with you because <laughs> If, if I sit with you, I won't be upset anymore. Oh my gosh, guys, am I gonna upgrade to business? Am I gonna do that? Because do you think business tickets are like 4K? Where you paid one thing for a ticket, there's just an extra 874. So that's cheaper. Yeah, that's cheaper. Like, that's cheaper. Yeah, 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 Guys, yeah. so we have to bloody go through security again, and now we have to find where the bloody gate is. And it's just so far, and I feel like the three, four hour transfer time is actually good because this place is so huge and it makes you travel so far. But yeah, we're gonna to try to find the gate because my mum thinks that the business might be a bit cheaper if I ask them in person. But I'm just scared that the one window seat is gonna sell out, so we're trying to hurry up because now I'm gonna do business. I want to do it properly. I want a window seat. Do you know what I mean? Why are you looking at me because I'm in business, guys? I bought the business class. Alright, I did a thing. Oh, I did a thing. I don't know why she's celebrating oh. like this. Also, I've left her in economy. But I'm it's just okay. So there was only one seat left that in business. This girl gets to experience things like this. Like, this is, I'm so happy. As a mum, I'm actually really, really happy. As a parent, that, you know. You're gonna get business yeah. yeah. class. is my 21st <laughs> birthday. Period. 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 <laughs> oh yeah, so we went to the, ca the um, front desk and he told me it was going to be 1,049 euros but when we done the conversion it converted to 880 whereas on the app it was 873 so I was like let me save my seven pounds and just book it on the app and then I paid and I'm in seat 14L next to the window. Period, I'm so excited. <laughs> but I don't think that one lays flat though but the leg situation, yeah, me need that and like just the whole experience like oh, I'm going to buy oh, a Okay. Anyways, we have so much time left. They've got so many different shops and stuff here. I'm really hoping they do the French hot chocolate and not the like, I, don't, I hope they don't cater to the English people and do the English ones that I actually want. The French one is like the car. Uh, so yeah, I'm back into this little, is this a cafe? Yeah. It's a little bit of business um, lounge. They have that? Yeah, it should be. Guys, we're off to the business lounge, period. Update guys, I don't even, I'm so upset. I just feel like I need to say it on the vlog now just to get out of the way. But basically, I didn't get the business seat. I paid for it. I didn't get a confirmation email. I went to the business lounge. They were saying, yeah, no, your name's not on there. And all of this going up back and forth with customer service, basically we concluded that someone else has apparently bought the seat at the same time as me. So that even though they took the payment, they gave the seat to the other person, some other man. So then now they're gonna refund me. So basically the business is sold out and I don't have my seat. So I'm actually, I literally celebrated for no damn reason. I got all my hopes up for absolutely no reason. I'm honestly so upset like I don't think I could actually like cry because like you know what it is what makes me upset is that I actually they actually led me to believe that I had it like it's not even like it sold out just before I bought it it's like I literally went to the guy at the desk he said to me yeah it's available it's this price I said okay I'm gonna buy it on my phone I bought it on my phone in that exact same minute celebrated these are sore I was so excited thinking yeah I'm gonna experience business and then just to find out that it didn't even go through it's like I'd rather it just say it was sold out to begin with and just not pay for it than to let me go ahead and pay for it and then find out later that I actually didn't pay, like, <sighs> this is such first world problems, like, honestly, it's not that deep, but I think it's more the fact that I got excited, that's annoying me, like, I was so excited, like, thinking, yeah, I'm getting business, it's such a good price, and now it's actually sold out, it's not even like, I can get a different seat, like, yeah, that seat was great, I had a um, window, but even the other seats that weren't window seats, they're also gone, like, everyone's just bought it, and I'm just so upset. My mum's just gone to talk to them even more because she's more concerned about the fact that they took the money out of my account because like she's saying like if the seat wasn't available why did it let me pay for it if it knows that someone else is also trying to pay for it if that makes sense and they actually withdrew the money it's never like it's a pending transaction like they actually took the money out of my account so she's like saying to them like you need to give her money back ASAP basically. <sighs> We've got about an hour left. I got my French hot chocolate. It's so thick like I don't know if you don't know but like the French people and I think Italians as well their hot chocolate is different to the English one. It's like thick and it's like that chocolate like proper chocolate. Oh my battery's dying. Let's change that. Really and truly mum if we calculate mm -hmm. the time in Tokyo is 6 30 so we can't sleep for another three hours. 
yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, I slept I a stay. little bit. The sleep that I slept on the other flight was good. I think if I watch a movie, I could stay up for three hours and then go to sleep at 9 p.m. Tokyo time. I know this camera's blurry, but it's actually good because I look so crusty right now. Anyways, we're walking to the gate now to board our flight. Guys, this plane is literally huge. Oh my gosh. It's massive. Look how many seats, how many rows there are. Tokyo Naruto, period. I so wish I could have got the um, business experience for the vlog and like showing you guys, but sorry, love. Boring old economy. All right. If you don't like it, click off the video. I can't give you business. I can only give you economy. Guys, I forgot to record the um, economy seats, but these are the premium economy ones. And we gotta go all the way to the back. Oh, you can your seat that you can... I know. We walked past the seat, that the business seat that I was supposed to have, and the guy's not there yet. I wanted to see who the culprit was. Look that him in the face. Look him in the face. Look the guy him in that the stole eye. my seat. But he's not there yet. Maybe he's not coming, and I'll let you go there. Because surely the business people will be sat down by now. Yeah. Then they board first. Yeah, I mean, you just see upgrading his seat, and then he's like, here, why is he not here? If I bought upgrade, I'm gonna get on the train, on the plane at ASAP. I'm gonna check. If, if he's not sitting there during the flight, I'm gonna go there. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain to the staff what happens. Yes, because you need to be compensated for the stress to you. Yeah, I went under stress. It was false hope. False hope, anxiety, and Do you know what I mean? These seats are so tight, though. Ugh. Okay, so it's not, not bad. bad. It's not bad. It's better than the it's plane. Better than the before, yeah. Oh, okay, I've got a little TV for myself. Oh. Okay, let's set it up. En français, period. <laughs> okay, so we got some headphones. And then, what's this, a blanket? Yes. Even though this plane is actually quite hot. And then they gave us a cheeky little pillow. Entertainment. We've got quite a few movies on here. Bad, Bad Boys, that's British. I know that one. Oh, a Quiet Place, Mum. Maybe watch that in cinema. Bad boy, I mean English, sorry. <laughs> oh, they've got Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, Barbie. Yeah, it's a good lineup still. I actually like downloaded so many stuff, so much stuff on my iPad. I like you have an allergic allergy to my eyelash glue. So when I don't wear contact lenses, some reason contact lenses act as like a barrier. So when I wear contacts, it's fine. But when I wear glasses, my eyes go red because of my lashes. So I don't know what to do, but I don't want to wear contact lenses because then they're going to dry out. So I'm just going to have to suffer. I literally downloaded the whole power, the whole of Love is Blind, some movies, whole shebang. So I've got two sources of entertainment. Do you know what I mean? My mum's here watching her movies on her phone, like some bush girl. Not everyone has an iPad. Get an iPad, like. But at least you have a TV People though. with iPads be like. <coughs> yeah, everyone should have an iPad. How are you watching a movie on a phone? It's weird. Like a normal person, not everyone has an iPad. IPads. I bet you can use this. Or we can, you know that when people sync the movies, we press play at the same time so that we're watching it together. Mm -hmm. Do that for Love is Blind. It's not on here. It's on our phone. Also, wait, what my jay rash? I get it. Are you gonna eat it? Yeah. I'll eat it. I dare ya. I dare ya. I dare ya. Yeah. So because I came back from the concert late last night, I ordered some Nigerian takeaway and I ate it in the, in the cab to the airport. But I didn't finish it. It is cold, but like, I'll still eat it because I'm scared that the airport Who food... eats cold rice? Because the food that they that give us today might not be nice. Listen, you're complaining that you're hungry. I know you're going to eat it. I know you're going to eat it. I can't, no. I can't eat cold rice. I might eat this if the food here is a bustin'. Do you know what I mean? It's just have to add some jerk chicken. But it's actually the morning, so I shouldn't really be eating that. Oh my. Anyways, guys. Where's my camera? Wish us luck. We've got 14 hours and 55 minutes. We'll keep you updated. That's literally 15 hours. We'll keep them updated. Hour by hour.
us, that's all. <laughs> You know when you land in Jamaica? Yeah, they first come out of the airport and it's yeah. just bare humid for <laughs> Look at her hair sticking up at the top like that. I feel so bad because there were some TikToks that would like teach you certain Japanese words and I was I would always be like, oh yeah, I'll learn it soon, I'll learn it soon and I literally completely forgot. So now I don't know how to say hello, I don't know how to say goodbye, I don't know how to say thank you, I don't know how to say please. Please download you in London. Or maybe I'll learn while I'm here. just got an e-sim which was so complicated but i think it works now and then we're going to head over to the train to get the train to our first hotel i think we have to get the narita express train there but i'm going to start a separate vlog for the actual tokyo trip so watch out for that but review of my first 14 hour flight with air france i start off with the positives positives is it actually wasn't as bad as i thought you know like i actually feel like the time went by quicker than i thought like i don't feel like i was dreading the time like, i feel like i was in and out of sleep i don't think i slept for more than like an hour or two consecutively though but i was able to sleep the seat wasn't too bad like i had the decent leg room like it wasn't obviously amazing but like i thought it would be worse like it was just fine like the 14 hours actually went by semi quickly for me and then obviously the two hours that we did from london to paris doesn't even count because i wasn't even present for that take off to on the flight to landing i was not conscious so <laughs> it doesn't feel like i actually did the extra two hours or an hour for that flight now let's get into the actual issues with the air france itself one i would say is that the food is not great like if it guys if it was not for my j rice i don't know what i would have done i would have starved and knowing me that's actually so bad because i eat a lot so that's yeah, probably the worst plain food i've had out of all the airlines the worst in the world that i've had so that i've experienced so far yeah it's worst plain food yeah no the and then also the frequency of the food guys we were on that plane for, oh yeah by the way they said it was gonna be 14 hours it was actually like 13 we were on that plane for 13 hours they fed us once and then once again at the end like literally like when we were like in a 
40 minutes to land in. They gave us that um, breakfast that I showed you guys, the fruit and the little pastry thing, which is not actually a meal, it's just a little snack kind of thing. But the only meal they gave us was once. And I'm thinking, this is not enough food. Like, there's no way that they were expecting me to survive off of that. It was only because my J-Rats, I wasn't as hungry. But I know my mum was starving for the whole flight. Yeah, so, I feel like British Airways feed you way more. Like, more frequently, times, yeah. yeah. And, and you got snacks in between as well. That's another thing I was going to say. With um, English Airlines, like, normally you can just buy snacks on the menu. So I'll get my cheeky shortbread biscuits with my tea, crisps, Pringles. They did have snacks, but please tell me why, guys. We didn't even know they had snacks. Literally, they kept it at the back of the plane. So when you go to the toilet, you just see, like, a tray of snacks there. And you can help yourself, but they don't actually come out and hand it out to you. So if you didn't see it, you wouldn't have known that it was there. So I think um, a little bit during the flight, I had, like, a cheese sandwich and um, some cake thing which is all right but you see the food is french food french snacks and stuff so it's not the english snacks so that's one downside i would say to fly with air france instead of british airways the food is a bit more unfamiliar obviously the whole palaver with the business class i will never forgive them for making me excited for that dirty business class and then cancelling it i even need to still check if they refunded me they better refund me in the next 48 hours otherwise there's going to be a problem so I think the whole booking system is a bit trash, they need to update it, they need to not allow two people to buy something at the same time, like what the heck, especially when it's £800, like there should be some kind of regulation in place. You know, it's fair, mainly just the food, other than that, I think the flight entertainment was decent, like I could watch the, the flight, had decent movies on there, I watched Inside Out too, and that movie was actually so good, I almost cried, like it was actually really good. But yeah, that's the end of my first long haul flight, the longest flight I've ever been on, well we've ever been on. So now it's down to the actual Tokyo trip. I can't believe I'm actually here. We haven't even stepped outside the hotel yet. I think when I step hotel. out the airport. <laughs> when we get to our hotel and like we see the city, it's gonna sink in that I'm actually in flipping Japan. Like I literally just flew across the whole entire world. But stay tuned for my Japan vlog, which is my birthday vlog, because it's my birthday. I don't think I even mentioned that. It's literally my birthday, that's how we're flying out. But yeah. Say goodbye to them. Boys long, oh.